So there were 107 creatures representing 81 species that we photographed. So now we're in Morea. So I'm just going to, this is just showing, sharing a little bit of our process. So we're going out to try to find the spot. This is after four days already of looking around. So we're on the reef crest, um, which is really only about two and a half or three feet deep. And so we're looking around for what would be sort of the ideal small sample. So we're trying, we're placing the cube in a few different spots. That was the spot we actually chose. That's the back side of the same spot. And you can sort of see that it's sort of half dead coral skeleton um, and then half alive. And then the scientists from the Morea Biocode project um, decided it was appropriate to include this my idealized sample in their collection, which their sort of average collection for marine invertebrates was a five-gallon bucket full of coral rubble. Um, so uh, one cubic foot is only slightly larger than a five-gallon bucket. So this is, we found... Is our spot. So the bottom of the cube is coral rubble. Um, there's only a little tiny piece of it that's still alive, and the rest of it is all encrusting coral and algaes and regular algaes. And moving through that space was a spotted boxfish, a red shouldered wrasse, a pearl spotted wrasse, a spotted toby. Surge damozel, a peacock damselfish, a six line pygmy wrasse. This guy's only about an inch long and he's fully grown. It's a little octopus. This is a flatworm. An orange spine surgeonfish. Same guy. The file clam, Lemuria. Long-spined urchin. This is a very young uh, pincushion star. He's about uh, half an inch across. They grow to be about this big. Uh, 